Welcome to Alcatzige Castle. We will go inside and explore the fortification that was built in the 9th century. And the key, the seat of the long shop. Originally it was named Lompsia, which translates to Georgian the Lion, but in the 12th century when it began to extend its walls, it became a real city and renamed to Alhaltihi Castle. And that translates to new fortification. That lasted until the 16th century, and there was at one period it was renamed to Rabati. Rabati was actually the name for trading market. That's what used by the Jewish uh, merchants. One of the first and great battles that took place here was the Amir Timur campaign, which we saw lots of in Uzbekistan. And Amir Timur came here at the end of 14th century and he tried to conquer this place. And I believe he did not manage to do so. Behind me you can see a mosque, but originally this was a Christian Orthodox Georgian church. This part is the Madrasa. However, when the Russian Imperial Army conquered this place, they turned this into a jail. You can see the old bars here. This is the original bars, but before Before this was jail, this was the room for young boys to study religion because Ottomans were about here for 300 years. And this is the pool that was constructed for cleaning your feet before you entered the mosque. Obviously it doesn't serve for this reason anymore. And of course, a madrasa, a mosque, and what's the third edition? We should all know that by now. A minaret, a tower that calls the city to prayer. It's here. This is the original brick. This is not the reconstruction. However, here to the left, you can see Reconstruction also new additions that were never part of the castle. The reason why they added some new things is to make like a representation of different cultures that were part of this castle history. Now we're going to enter the citadel. The citadel was the last resort. If the castle or the fortification was destroyed, that's where the people and the soldiers would hide and basically prepare for the last attack. This is the, the highest watchtower. I'm not sure this is original. In the early 19th century, General Paskevich, who was in charge of the Russian Imperial military, faced the Ottomans, and after they defeated them, they took over this fortress. On top of the citadel, they've placed about 170 cannons. Well, and of course, immediately the Ottomans got scared and they decided not to fight. This was the dungeon for holding slaves. The people were taken from their neighboring region, then they would be brought here for about a week and after a week they would be put on boats and be uh, shipped to Istanbul in Istanbul at Grand Bazaar that's where they would the slave trade would occur the women for example the most beautiful women were serving Pasha which was the ruler of a region in the Ottoman Empire and there was also guards that worked to protect the ruler and they were castrated and this castration would be 
happening here. That's the dark history of Ahaltsiki Castle. Some of the fort was not restored due to lack of knowledge what was that particular spot or that place and also due to lack of finances. Over there is the bridge because the old walls were actually much further. How far? I can't tell you but there is an abandoned hammam right over there and even the walls would extend to that place. The dome of the mosque was actually part of a feud between Turkey and Georgia during the reconstruction in 2012 be because Georgians wanted to replace the color of the dome uh, I'm not sure for what reason but Turkey insisted not to and they did come to a diplomatic agreement not to do any restoration on top of it so it may remain gold not a hole in this this is a uh, new this was not here ever the place behind me I don't remember the name of this type of a structure but the place to rest with a fountain in the middle was a present during the Russian Empire whenever they built summer palaces they would have this particular style According to my history, knowledge, the Georgians asked the Russian Empire for help to defeat the Ottomans from this land because they forced them to convert into Muslims in Ajaria and in this part of the region. And that's the reason why they needed help from the Russian Empire. And at that time, they actually came here with a large military and defeated Ottomans in early 19th century and since then Georgia became part of the Russian Empire and then towards Soviet Union and then in 1991 again its independence where the Minarat was there used to be a bell over there during the time when it functioned as an Orthodox Church and that bell was the signal to avoid the invaders coming but then when it became a mosque once more it was taken off and never replaced with another one in 2011 the reconstruction of al Khatsiki castle began nine million dollars were put forth for this restoration and even turkey participated in the project as well and as you can see most of this part is actually new all these bricks and all these new additions did not satisfy the local community. They were actually pretty displeased because so much of it is new. What's up with the old stuff? Where did that go? So here you can see the original brick. It's quite uh, light brownish. And then on the outside, the top, you can see the newer brick. Look. As the newer one, darker, the lighter one is below it. Now we'll attempt to get to the bridge that we saw from top of the castle. Wow, I found it. Looks super cool. I love bridges, especially the older ones. I wonder why I wasn't part of the project to restore it. It seems like a really cool spot. The walls seem significantly big here. It was a well-constructed castle for its time. Thanks for watching this episode. That was quite a journey of the beaten path in Georgia and visiting this castle, Vardia, very cool spots that I've never heard of. Until next episode, nomads.